you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I got a special pick for you guys. I love to bring you guys picks. I love to bring them to you first. Inovo, I-N-O, this company is on fire. Inovo shares rally after biotech says human trials of coronavirus vaccine will start in April. This is huge news for Iovo. Shares of, this is from MarketWatch by Sierra Linen. Shares of Inovo Pharmaceuticals, which you guys can see right up here, right there. And you can see they're up 69%. And even after market, they're still going up 9.5% after market at $8.16. Went up 69% today to $7.45. I thought about buying it. I didn't want to chase it. And it exploded. And it's going even higher because of the big news. Shares of Inovo Pharmaceuticals Inc. rallied more than 16% on Tuesday. How about 69%? It was up 16% at the time of this article. After the company said it's accelerated the timeline for development of a vaccine to treat the coronavirus COVID-19 and expects to start human trials in the United States next month. Huge news, breaking news. The stock finished up 69% at $7.45, is now at $8.16 and up 9.53%. The stock INO has more than doubled in three months as expectations for the company's vaccine called INO-4800 have grown and as the virus has spread to more than 91,000 people worldwide and caused more than 3,100 deaths. Plymouth, meaning Pennsylvania, based IOVO in Inovio specializes in developing DNA vaccines and has created products to treat 15 indications. It is only the only company to have a phase two vaccine for the coronavirus that caused Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS. The company was called on to help during the 2016 Zika outbreak and the Ebola outbreak in 2014. These guys need to be on full alert. Inovo Chief Executive Dr. J. Joseph Kim told the U.S. Coronavirus Task Force meeting at the White House on Monday that the company designed INO-4800 on January 10th in three hours after the publication of the genetic sequence of the virus. For daily coverage on Corona COVID-19, holler at your boy, we're breaking the news every single day. We immediately began clinical testing and small-scale manufacturing and have already shared robust public data with our public and private partners, Kim said in a statement. We plan to begin human clinical trials in the U.S. in April and soon thereafter in China and South Korea where the outbreak is impacting the most people. This is why the stock is screaming. Maxim analyst Jason McCarthy, PhD, said Inovio likely has the best vaccine option for the new illness. The speed with which it developed INO-4800 is demonstration of the versatility and speed with which an OVO can respond to an emergency situation. The company is consistently the recipient of non-dilutive grant funding for its infectious disease vaccine for the Coalition of Epidemic Preparedness Innovations, CEPI, he wrote in a note to clients. In February, it was awarded up to $9 million for a COVID-19 vaccine. It has previously received up to $56 million for CEPI grants for MERS and Zika. Inovio is expecting to deliver 1 million doses of vaccine by year end using its existing resources, but will need additional resources to scale up to provide further amounts. The company has finalized the design for human clinical trials and has developed large-scale manufacturing plants. This is so big. The stock is now up 10% post-market. It's at 815. It is flying. Wow. The company has finalized the design for human clinical trials and has developed large-scale manufacturing plans. It is planning to launch trials in the U.S. in 30 healthy volunteers and expects to publish the first results by fall. In November, 
Inovio posted a net loss of 23 million or 25 cents a share in the third quarter of 2019 after a net loss of 25 million or 27 cents a share in the year earlier period. But nobody cares because they're finding potentially a cure for Americans. This is huge. Regardless of their losses, revenue came to 867 million down from 2 million in the year earlier period. 867 revenue? 867,000 revenue? Shares of four other companies seeking to develop a COVID-19 vaccine were lower Tuesday. Moderna, mRNA, which I talked to you guys about, were down 8%. And AIM, Immunotech AIM, was actually up 1.67%, but was down at the time of writing, 3.9%. And VIR Biotechnology Inc., down 8.9% was down 13% before it rallied a little bit. And Gilead Sciences, G-I-L-D, down 1.58%, was down 4.5% at the time of writing this article. So this article was written earlier in the day. Then all of a sudden, the stock exploded doing a sneak attack. I want to know what you guys think. I-N-O, is it too late to get in? This bad boy is on fire. Could potentially be the cure for Americans. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. Here it is. I know. What do you guys think? It's been absolutely on fire, screaming. Does this continue? If you think so, smash the like button. Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. And if I win and you win, we all win. It's true. It's your boy Rich. You're missed to be live. If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring the winners and we bring them to you first. I'm out. Peace. And congratulations to Amanda, because I know Amanda's holding INO. Smart, smart, smart cookie. Are you holding INO? Let's just blow this up. Hold on. Blow this up. Blow it up. It went up 69% today and is up 9.4% after market. What do you guys think? Comment down below. I want to know what you guys think. Your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Just trying to bring you guys the winners, man. I try to bring it to you first. I always try to bring it to you first. It's true. What do you think? I know. Big winner? Peace.